Now, 2001 was a fantastic year for gaming, and this game was at the forefront of that revolutionary movement. I am the Crazy Gamer, and welcome to Grand Theft Auto 3. The game that started it all for this series. Might just turn the TV volume down a little bit. This is the game that kicked it all off. It was the first 3D GTA game. And in my opinion, it was the game that put this franchise on the radar. It is the game that made it what it is today. This is the game that created the legacy. And I cannot wait to play through it. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And I hope you can join me for this hopefully great Let's Play. Just looking through, the nostalgia is brilliant. It had a pretty cool, uh, just ignore that. It had a pretty cool um, soundtrack as well, pretty good. Uh, I like this music, the sort of slow jazz. I think it was good of the times because, you know, this is Liberty City, there's Mafia and stuff, and I think, you know, it's kind of the bustling Metropolis music, which is uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, can't wait to get into it. So, here we go. Grand Theft Auto 3, 2001, 16 years ago. Wow. I mean, a lot of these uh, characters you see on the screen here, they're a bit weird because you don't actually see them. Like, they're not actually real characters, a lot of them, which really uh, confuses me. It's really weird. But uh, this is the first time... I've done an actual playthrough. Oh shit. Liberty City Bank. I have played this game before. I played it last year. In we go. Okay, so uh, we are the getaway driver, it seems. Here comes Bitch and her friend. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. You bitch! Small time. How am I small time? I'm doing the same job you're doing. Oh look, I've made the front page. Yes, famous. Now uh, this character is weird because um, his name is Claude, but it's just Claude. He doesn't actually have a last name. Okay, so now we're in the back of a truck. Very good. So, we uh, screwed up. Oh, hello. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the so yeah, this was a really good game. I'm glad it got ported to the PS4. If you haven't been able to play it, I suggest you do. And no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge I'm just going to be quiet and let you listen to this. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the oh, city. Shit. Okay, now that the talking stopped, okay, they've turned around. Dude. Senor Dickhead. Haha, <laughs> Senor Dickhead. No to kill then why don't you kill him then? You're gonna be sorry. What did he do? Oh, okay, so they're getting that guy out. Aye, aye, get lost. BAM! Knockout punch like Mayweather. Okay, there we are. We are ready to go. Oh no. Oh no. Well that's it, isn't it? Our shit just got fucked up. Yeah, as you can tell, parental advisory. 
this will contain foul language and obviously explicit content and all that good jazz but here we go so the bridge is just a smoldering wreck now Give me liberty. Okay. Let's go. Triangle button to enter exit a vehicle. This is hit radio love media station. Just one of nine hundred. Oh, what am I doing? Now, um, we are a pickpocket. Now, I just have to do something quick. I have to put Another these. set of non-stop rockets. It's head radio. Now, I just have to turn this music right down. Because, uh, unfortunately, we can't have that on here because of copyright issues of course now feels a bit weird the old controls you know x to uh, drive and square to brake okay so just passing through chinatown oh my god how did i not get the police on me there and how the hell did uh, the brakes not work on this car okay So, red light district. I'm pretty sure uh, everyone knows what that's all about. Okay. Oh my god! Almost nailed the police car though. That wouldn't have been very good. And in we go. Up we go. There we are. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna get some new clothes obviously we can't go around in prison garb we're not on a mission you can save your game here this will advance time six hours the garage next door can store one vehicle when you save your game yes of course I know this guy he's connected his name is Luigi he he's connected back, so what like uh, connect four Come on, let's head over there. what's he connected to uh, maybe these jokes are a bit shit <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we we have six dollars to our name. Pretty damn rich. Now we're just gonna pull up at Luigi's Club here. Oh, hello. Okay. The service door. Okay. Luigi's Girls. Okay, so we're just rolling up in the joint. Now, this is going to be a bit of a mundane episode, probably. It's not going to be as fast-paced, because this is just... To talk to Luigi. This is just an introduction, really. Just small missions, you know. Nothing too heavy. Is this Luigi? Ball, no, that's uh, Mickey, isn't some it? Business upstairs. Okay. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. Maybe. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then okay. bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. All right. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. I'm good, I'm good. See, now, you tell me to keep my hands on the wheel, but I'm picking up what is assumed to be a prostitute from a clinic. Uh, why would I want to touch her? I do not want to get AIDS or herpes or HIV or whatever the fuck she may have. Okay, let's get in here. There she is. This is another weird character. Her name is Just Misty. Okay, in you get. Also, he says keep your hands on the wheel. I can't really take my hands off the wheel because she's in the back seat. Unless I miss the fantastic, I won't be able to reach her. Okay, so R1 is the handbrake. Pretty good. So, you know, just some easy missions to get into it. 
I don't really understand the point of this mission, to be honest. I mean, we've already driven. We know people can get in cars. That's a bit obvious. One and a half... One and a half thousand dollars for that. Now, the way I see it is... You can go and see Luigi for more work or check out the BC, alright? Uh, the way I see it... If he's getting one and a half grand... Just for driving her from the clinic back to the club... I want the job that he has. Because I would be laughing. I would be very happy with that. But... We might as well just uh, do another mission. Here we go. Don't spank my bitch up. Okay, so what's this one now? Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. You're not very good with conversation, are you? There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some okay. wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. If you want compensation, why don't you just go to an insurance company? Go to lawyers for you. Pick up the van. All right, so that's our first weapon. So yeah, uh, pretty easy. We got to go down to Portland Harbor and just whack this guy, basically. And I don't mean whack him as in hit him unless you want to hit him with the bat i just mean you know we've got to kill him we've got to kill this dude he's messing with the girls and uh we can't be having any of that anyway uh one thing i wanted to talk about was uh liberty city uh, liberty city stories and vice city stories what are your views on them possibly coming to ps4 would you want them to come to ps4 would you not uh i really would yeah to have some of that bitch you don't even need the bat you just need to run him over oh you're right there sport you're right there sport yeah you had some fun okay so this is a stallion uh, so yeah I want them to come to PS4 and uh, if the two stories titles do come to PS4, I will be doing a let's play of them on the channel as well. Now, this game is the first of three let's plays I have as a certainty. After this game is done, we will, we will be doing a let's play of Vice City. And then after that, we will be doing a let's play of San Andreas. Now, San Andreas should be especially long because just of the amount of stuff it has in it. But it'll be good. Okay. So this will uh, change the color of your car and lose your wanted level. Uh, it'll cost $1,000 usually, but this time it's free. Now, you are about to see possibly the most narrow garage in history. This is possibly the most narrow garage in history. And also this is one of uh, the worst handling cars in history. It's really bad. So this is around Mafia territory. We'll be having some business dealings with them later. Look how thin this garage is. And there we go. Four grand. We're making moves. Yeah. Uh, right. Sir, can you please get out of the car? Thank you very much. Now I'll see you later. Uh, we will be doing taxi missions eventually. Maybe um, in a few videos' time I will. Either that or when we unlock the second island. I reckon once we get onto the second island, we will be doing some taxi missions and vigilante missions and paramedic missions. But I just want you to know, would you want me to skip to the end of them? Or would you want me... Would you want to watch me uh, play through that? Anyway, next mission. Drive Misty for me. I'm on a combo. What am I going to do? Wait. 
Hey, 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 I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick, I'll talk to you later. Why look at me? Just get back in How there, fuck boy. The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick oh, her up okay. at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo Turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. Okay. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. You keep telling me that, and I'll keep giving you the same response. I won't touch her. She has an STD. Or an STI. Whatever you want to call it. Also, I have a little bit of a question. In that last mission, that yeah, uh, Luigi said that Eight Ball's got some business upstairs, but how the fuck can he have sex with anyone when his hands are all screwed up? Hey. Better not roll over, better not roll over. Don't roll over. Oh. I thought he was gonna go there. Watch out, that's Diablo Turf. Well, we haven't pissed them off yet. Okay. Here comes Misty. The longest walk ever. Someone with one leg would walk faster than you, woman. Come on. See, again, she's well, in the back. You sound stupid. It's about time we're going to drive we can trust. You sound like Lois from Family Guy. You really do. You sound just like Lois from Family Guy. So, uh, we're now going to go and meet a new character called Joey Leone. And you might recognise the last name. He is uh, Don Salvatore's son, who we will meet later on in the game. Okay. So now... Joey is a mechanic. A few cars sitting in here. You're not a very good worker, are you, Joey? You've got loads of cars sat in here. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with your big ends again? Lovely. I'll be with you in a minute, spark plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? That's... That's nice to know, that she's going to get to play with his big end. That's disgusting. Anyway, now, you hear the phone ringing over there. Right there. These are some side missions. There are four of them, so we are now going to do them. The Crook. The name is Jocks. Marty Jocks. Okay. Yeah. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? Me? My bank I just earned four grand for doing an easy job. Bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so we can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood-sucking leech. Okay. Sounds, uh, sounds normal. Okay. So, we've got to go in here in the bitchin' dog food factory. We've got to go and pick this car up. Which, yes, is a perennial. Um, possibly one of the worst cars in GTA history. We've got to go and meet the bank manager. Uh, so, let's go and meet him. Now, we don't stick to roads. This is GTA. Who sticks to roads? Get in, Mr. Bank Manager. He did. Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. Oh, pay the fellow a visit. My fellow Englishman. It is kind of strange to hear a British person or an English person in, uh, you know, a game set in America. By an American company as well. It's, it's weird. Come on, open up, come on. There we go. So uh, there are four missions for this guy, if I remember rightly. Okay, out gets the bank man. And again, a very long walk, which we always love. We always love the long walks. Get your hands off me, ah! What? 
did okay did he really just say get your hands off me ass I don't really want to know what this Marty Chonks gets up to in his spare time Plus, how the hell did Claude hear that from inside the warehouse when we were set outside in the car? He must have some supersonic hearing. He must be like a dog or a wolf. Uh, you got to watch here. These bollards are really heavy. Oh, God, what would you do that for? And there's holes in the road as well. I don't know how that happened, but they happened. Um, yeah, so... Marty Chonks. Now, considering he runs a dog food factory, I reckon the name Marty Chonks might be a pun on uh, meaty chunks. What you get in dog food. Okay. Bye bye, crappy car. I want to watch your demise. I don't really. Um, might as well just take the van. In we get. It is weird playing this game. It's, you know, it's super strange when you're used to GTA 5 and that. Anyway, uh, now we've done that mission, we might as well go and do uh, the next one for Mr. Chonks. No reason why. So yeah, I just want to ask, you know, would you like to see more videos of this playthrough? How do you think this one has gone? My god, this van is so top heavy. It's utterly dreadful. The brakes don't really work on this game, I guess. No? Not ringing? Okay. That's a bit weird. So it's meant to ring again. I don't know why it's not. That's really strange. Don't tell me to piss off. I will beat you with this bat. Mm. That's a bit weird. Okay, you're a bit knackered. Okay. We'll go and do another Luigi mission. Might as well get all the people out of the way in one go. Oh god. Cool. That person had a near escape with death there. They had a near miss with the Grim Reaper. That van was coming at them. Okay, so let's pull up outside Luigi's club and see what he's got for us next. Can you please turn the camera? Thank you. Pump action pimp. Pump action pimp. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy okay, bitches calm in down. my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Jeez. Calm down, dude. You gotta calm your shit. Yeah, so they're in the pretty cool looking and pretty cool sounding cars as well. But yeah, we, we, we've got to go and get a piece, definitely. Because uh, this one might get a little bit out of hand. <coughs> Pump action could uh, infer the fact that he might have a shotgun. Okay, let's take that. Good thing we have a van. We will need something tough to ram his car with. Now, I probably will just run him over. Can I come through here? I will. Surprise, motherfucker! Good, get out of the car. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Run away. Handbrake. Come on. Oh wait, they're back in the car. Motherfucker! Get out, get out, get out, get out, run, 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 run. Ah! 
Oh my god, it worked. That's uh, pretty brilliant. I'll take all that dollar. I'll take all them ducats. The pistol is now in stock at ammunition. That's uh, pretty cool if we need it. Okay, so it's R1 to aim, yeah, and then surf to fire. Okay. Uh, pump action pin. That mission was done. The ladies in the floor. I'll piss off, please. I didn't do anything. It's my taxi. I leased it to him. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you dying in front of my car? You are not helping my cause. The fuzzball. The fuzzball. Back again, are we? What are you doing? Why are you just come out and stare at me for? Okay. Sounds good. A bundle? What, like a uh, Christmas bundle? A bundle of presents. Maybe a bundle of games. How do I know? Okay. So we've got five minutes to do this. Thank God we've got a four-door car. And a pretty fast one at that. We're going to try and go for a perfect score here. All, um... At least they run and they don't walk. Like a load of idiots. Uh, we're going to go for this, these two down. Uh, yeah, we'll go for these two next. Because they're right near here. Yeah, the taxi is a really good vehicle in this game. It handles so well. Get in. Awesome. Okay. Now we're just going to go and get this girl over here. I think he said less than four girls working and you won't be happy. Might as well point the door next to her so she can get in faster. Okay, there are three girls, oh god. It's alright, she didn't die. Now, one thing that bums me is the fact that when I turn the music off, like, so we can't hear it on the radio, uh, it also turns the mission completed music off. Come on, then you get... So, what I'm actually going to do very quickly is I'm going to go back to the audio. Is, uh, I'm actually just going to put it on... No, that's not very good. I want it to be a bit louder than that, but not too loud. Get in, motherfuckers. There we go. Now, considering these guys are policemen, I would say they earn quite a bit of money. Now, if you can get in. Thank you. Oh, God. Yeah, we should smash this one out of the park. We should do pretty well on this one. Already got six of the eight girls, and we've still got two and a half minutes, which is brilliant. See the plea, the, the Now, let's just get out of here. Also, why are the police having a ball? Why are they celebrating? About the fact that they haven't actually been shit for at least a day. Because most of the time they are pretty useless. 
Although, to be honest, I do have to give them credit on this game. The, pl the police on this game are pretty damn aggressive. I have to admit, they are. They are pretty damn aggressive on this game. The police are pretty damn aggressive on this game. Okay, there we go, number seven. There should really be nine girls, not eight. Why are you at Scrapyard? There's no one here for you to have sex with. Well, there's no one here to pimp you, I guess. So I don't know why you're here. Come on, get in the car. Perfect score, come on. So I think uh, the more girls you get, it's just bonus money. There we go. Yeah, we got a minute to do it. We'll get there. So, just get these girls to um, the party, and that's it. Like, I really, I really wish I could make this first episode more entertaining, but. You know, you can only do so much with what you're given. You know, these missions aren't, you know, any chaotic stuff or anything. Okay. There go the hose. And they are in. We did it. Four grand, $2,000 bonus. Awesome. So, yeah, you're... Oh, oh, yeah, that is actually a uh, good thing that I uh, forgot about. I'm going to put the music right up, but just have the radio off. There we go. So now we can hear the music when we complete the mission, but we're going to have to turn the radio off when we get in a car. Uh, right, now that we have... Uh, completed all of Luigi's missions. We are about half an hour into the video. We've reached just over the half hour mark. I think I'm gonna save this and then we'll see if we can get any of Marty's missions. Wait, I don't want to put the car in there. Fuck that. Um. We just want to go in here, and we are going to save. Okay, let's get this saved. Awesome. Okay, we are back. So now our progress after all of Luigi's missions is saved. Now, we don't really see anything else of Luigi until later on in the game. There's one mission where he will appear, but it's really only a cameo role it's not a mission for him and he doesn't talk i think i think he says one thing i think he says how you doing kid or something like that but that's it that's all he says now we're going to come over and see yes okay the phone is going again okay the thieves. The thieves. I hired some thieves to break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance as you do. You're the only one I've heard to do that. I'm to tell the insurance company if I don't give them a cut. Can you believe it? I left the car in the factory gates. Use it to go pick them up from their turf in the red light district. Then bring them back to the factory so I can make them see Marty's point of view. Well, whatever. I mean, technically, they've got a point. I mean, you were pretty stupid. You were pretty stupid hiring a pair of thieves and then not expecting them to want a cut. Of course they're going to want a cut. They're thieves. And of course, they want money. And how do you get money? You blackmail someone. And I'm not... I am not recommending... 
blackmailing people. No way am I. I am not. Okay, so we will now go and pick the thieves up from their crib, I guess. Uh, the one uh, game, the one game where I'm going to be the most bummed about not being able to listen to the music is Voice City. The the soundtrack on that game is amazing. Take them to the bitchin' dog food factory. So, you know, these missions for Marty, they're easy. It's just pick someone up, take them there, that's it. That is it. We are basically a chauffeur or a taxi service. If I wanted to be a taxi service, I'd drive a taxi. And I just was driving a taxi. So, you know, and it's still here. Okay, there are the thieves. Here they go. <laughs> they're going to have a little meeting with Marty. They do kind of look like thieves, I guess. They look like more. They look more like hobos than anything. Easy there, partner. Whoa. Hmm. Right Easy there, partner. I heard that. Get the car resprayed. We got the first car crushed. Why are we getting the second car resprayed? Why don't we just get this one crushed as well? It doesn't make any sense. Like, is there just like different scenarios that the game wants us to do? Like, Rockstar were thinking, yeah, okay. The first mission will get them to crush it. That'll introduce them to the crusher. But the second time, we'll get them to respray the car. Wait, no, it's down here, isn't it? Okay, and back in here. And in we go. In goes the car. Bring the car back to the factory. Oh god, Banana Rama. We got the Banana Mobile. What an ugly colour. That is seriously one of the worst colours I've seen. Fucking hell, I can't even drive anymore. What am I doing? Well, that's our wing. A bit dented. And that's our. Oh my god! Okay, this has gone completely tipped up. Oh, what is going... Move, you idiot. Oh, well, that went completely tipped up, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Marty, the car is back. It's just not in one piece. Uh, it's got a dented door. A dented wing. Uh, the front bumper's missing. Uh, also, the bonnet is dented and it's up in the air. Why is it around the other side? That's just stupid. And there we go. Very good. Very good stuff. Let's just get over here. And the phone's ringing again. So we can do the third mission for Marty. The wife. Oh, all of us have had problems the about the wife, am I right, guys? True. That's not very I good at all. Go and pick up my wife from Classic Nails and bring her back to the factory. Can I just say that Classic Nails is a dreadful name for a nail place? Or a nail parlour, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, I don't know. It is a terrible name. It is absolutely dreadful. But anyway, let's just go back and one of the worst cars in the game. This is an Esperanto. Okay, so we've got Mrs. Chonks. Oh, what the hell? That didn't break at all. And all that did was crack the windscreen. But yeah. So. Oh my god. You managed to survive that. I know, I know uh, when people survive a collision with a car and when they don't. That had no brakes. Okay. Oh, shut up. You have to get your hair done. Leave it out. You know what you should really do? Stop spending so much damn money on cosmetics. I bet you do all your makeup and all your hair and all your nails. Trust me. If I had a girl like that, she'd be paying it her fucking self. 
I'd say, no, I ain't paying for all that shit. I had my money to spend on myself, not you, motherfucker. Okay. There goes the wife. Do you want to be any slower? Do you want to take any more time? Don't worry, I've got all day. I've got all my life to wait for you. And in she hey. goes. Stop! Stop. <laughs> and we've got another different scenario now. We've got to dump it into the sea. Now, luckily enough, the ocean is right near here. We're just going to take a left turn. Now, I don't even know if this is going to work. Um, right. Why can't we just blow the car up? Now, we can't swim on this game. Oh, God. He didn't jump out. He didn't jump out. What an idiot. Can we push it? I'm not sure. Yeah, we can. We can push it pretty well as well. Come on, push, 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 push. To be honest, even if you drive into the sea with yourself in the car, you die, but you still pass the mission. There we go. That's what I wanted. The wheels were stopping it. Go in the ocean, please. Come on. Get in the ocean. Get in. Get in. There we go. It's going. It's going. It's going. It's gone. How? How? That's defying the actual laws of physics. That's defying the laws of... What the hell? Okay. The car just decided to just do a kickflip off the bloody side of the pier. Whatever it is. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. That was weird. The car just sat there really awkwardly. And then it was just like, bonk, over the side. Uh, this will probably be the last mission we do for today. No? Uh, maybe I'll have to come back. Yeah, so there is actually a list of vehicles for... Uh, Portland Harbour to take so if you can find the vehicles just bring them there now some of them are quite rare some of them are like a secure car which can only be obtained in certain scenarios really and other ones are like um, what's going on with this camera yeah this is the right camera um, a lot of them can only be obtained in certain scenarios, like the security car and also the Mr. Whoopi. No? Alright. Well, I want to finish off these missions, so we'll do a Joey mission. Come up between... Oh, really? Oh my god, I just missed it. I missed it by, like, a minute in game time. Wow. Wow. Okay. I just hope we can finish off Martin's mission. Because I think... I, I know there is one more mission for him. We've done... Uh, I can't even remember the first one. The crook, the thieves, and the wife. I know we've done that. I mean, none of these kills really seem justified, do they? I mean, yeah, the guy was bum bumping up the loan repayment so he could get a slice, but that's just how a businessman works. And then the thieves. The thieves wanted a cut. That's reasonable. If I did a job for someone, I'd want a cut. And also the wife, that was the worst one of all. I mean, she's a hole in your pocket. Like, doesn't mean you have to kill her. A little overreaction, if you ask me. So, yeah, I think the guy's a bit, uh, a bit mental. He's a bit, uh, ten pence short of a pound. 
as we say here in the UK. So just going to bring this absolutely crappy truck, which somehow has better brakes than the Esperanto, over here, and hopefully the phone will be ringing. I'm guessing it's the same as like Joey's missions. It's sort of time-based. No, I'm guessing it will not ring. I'm guessing we have to do this mission. So let's do it. Mike Lips last lunch. Hey, I'm bored. When are you gonna drill me? Oh, yeah, great. Morning, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a oh, little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught yeah, some Yeah, we respect. know about them. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's Bomb Shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's of course I know Eight Ball. Bomb, I was in the back of a prison truck with him. Found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Well, of course he won't be eating forever. No one eats forever. If I eat forever, they'd be dead. Okay, where the hell did my truck go? Give me the taxi. Give me... Oh, my God. Give me the taxi. Uh, what am I doing? I'm taking your car. Oh, my truck's there. I ran over the... Oh, God. Straight into the wall. So, yeah, we're now going to go kill one of the Ferrelli family. And uh, they feature prominently in a few GTA games. Uh, they feature very prominently in Vice City and also San Andreas for a little bit as well. Park up. Okay. He drives in Idaho. Absolute crap car. Turn that shit off. So yeah, this, again, another crap car. At least it's not too far, so we don't have to drive this hunk of trash for too long. Oh, do you see the sparks coming out the back end there? Here you go. Look, look. In fact, I think they were coming off the front end, weren't they? Okay. So, yeah, we arm the bomb with the circle button and it will blow up when he starts the engine. Poor guy. So, he's killing Lips for, or we're killing Lips for Ferelli because the Ferelli brothers owe Joey money and they owed it for too long and they haven't paid it. Surely this is just going to be their motivation to kill you. Okay, bomb armed. And now get out of the car. Here he comes. So, why is he called Lips? Has he got fat lips? Has he got a big mouth? Or is it just because he eats a lot? Yeah, so that sign actually says, Eat till you explode. Very good. Oh god, he died. Ten grand for that. Joey pays out very well. Joey pays out really well. Very well indeed. Anyway, um, we're just going to take this hunk of crap. And hopefully we can finish this last um, phone mission. Hopefully. I'm hoping so. Now that we've done a mission for Joey, it should become available. I think there are three or four instances where you do... Young man. There's no need to feel down. Yeah. Her lover. Damn, I'm in trouble. Why? Turns out my wife was seeing some guy I owe money to. Okay. Got real angry, and he's looking for payback. I would be. Great to see him. He thinks I'm gonna pay him off, but my guess is Liberty's dogs are gonna get yet another flavor this month. If you say so, that's really weird. 
I wonder what he calls these flavours. My wife with nails and meaty chunks, maybe. I don't know. Pick up his wife's lover. Yeah, so... And you see, this guy is a bit psychotic, Marty. He's a bit, uh... Obsessed with killing people? I guess he's got a good plan for it, though. So you see, this car loves to slide. If, you get, if you're in a getaway against the police, do not use this car. So here's the dude. Come on, get in the car. Oh, you? Okay. We'll uh, see what business you've got in store for him. Oh, my God. So, I mean, this car's out of control. The traction levels on this car in the game files must be like 10, maybe even lower. Because it just loves to slide. There's Marty. Okay, my dude's getting out of the car. Carl, uh, hi. Uh, I, uh, I need more time to get your money. But if you just step into my office, it's far too late for that, Marty. You had your chance, but now I'm taking over the business. Loser! Oh, dude. Uh, I will kill you. I will take that money and I will take that gun. And I'll take your money as well. So there we go. That is all of Marty Chonk's missions done. I don't know what that weird sound is that I'm hearing. But there we go. That is all of Luigi's missions done and that is all of Marty's missions done. Obviously because Marty is dead. My game just became weirdly quiet all of a sudden. Oh my god. I'm guessing that's just... Sound. Um, there we go, the sound's back to normal now. Okay, so we're approaching a pretty long video. So... I'm going to park this car in here. Boom, there we go. Then we're going to come in here. We are going to save. And that will be the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like the video, please remember to like, share and subscribe. If you want to see more of this Let's Play, let me know in the comment section down below. It's been The Crazy Gamer, and I'll see you soon.